The royals are just like us when it comes to having a drink to celebrate and toast to important occasions, or when it comes to winding down in the evening after a stressful day. Whether it is a refreshing gin and tonic, an exuberant cocktail, or a simple beer, the royals are well known for enjoying an alcoholic beverage from time to time. Let's take an intimate glance behind the doors of some of the world's most exclusive drinks cabinets and see what the late Queen and Prince William, as well as other royals drink to take the edge off after a long day. And when it comes to the Princess of Wales, you would assume that she enjoys the most refined and expensive drinks, but that really isn't the case. When the Prince and Princess of Wales visited the Coventry Cathedral Rising Cafe for a charity event, where is helping recovering addicts? The cafe workers, upon hearing of the royal guests, read about their eating habits and found that the princess was rumored to prefer almond milk to regular. A cafe worker especially set out the alternative milk for her on the tea tray. Kim Gardner, who runs Battelle UK's Women's Houses, said this with confidence. We put almond milk on the table because we had read that she had it. However, Catherine had to let the cafe workers down and inform them that that rumor was not true. The princess reportedly told Gardner, Don't believe everything you read. I don't even like almond milk. Catherine is said to be partial to a classic pint of Guinness, and has been pictured both pulling a pint and sipping one during an official engagement. During an official visit to the Guinness Storehouse's Gravity Bar in Ireland, the couple both enjoyed a pint of the famous drink, before William thanked his hosts with the traditional Irish toast, Slaint. Another favorite drink of Catherine's is said to be a gin and tonic, as it was previously revealed that Prince William brings her one in the evening after Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis have gone to bed. A close friend of the princess said, William will bring her a gin and tonic. They look after each other, but in different ways. Harking back to her party days, she is said to have enjoyed a cocktail called Crack Baby, which was served at the now-closed West London Club Bougies. The cocktail, which the couple enjoyed so much that they reportedly served at their 2011 wedding, is a mix of vodka, champagne, and passion fruit juice. But the Princess of Wales certainly isn't the only royale who enjoys the occasional tipple. The late queen's drink of choice is a gin and dubonnet, which is made from two parts— Dubonnet and one part gin with two cubes of ice, and served with a slice of lemon, whereas King Charles is thought to be fond of a crisp gin and tonic when he travels, or a scotch whiskey. The Queen Consort Camilla has quite the penchant for wine and even admitted, Well, first of all, I love wine, but secondly, my father was in the wine business, so I was brought up as a child, drinking wine and water rather like the French while Prince William is said to now enjoy a simple pint and was pictured doing just that at the Prince Albert pub in Battersea as he watched the Euro 2020 qualifiers. During his years at St. Andrews University in Scotland, he definitely had a wilder side. He is said to have enjoyed Sambuca shots and a cocktail named Treasure Chest, which is a combination of peach liquor, brandy, and champagne, and is served in a wooden chest for £135 a pop.